My name is Yan Bei Chen. I'm a professor of physics at the California Institute of Technology. I work on the theory of gravitational wave uh, sources, um, black holes, and then how to use gravitational wave to test relativity, to um, measure uh, predictions of general relativity in the context of um, you know, object with a strong gravity, uh, space time with a high curvature. When I first came to the US, I thought, oh, maybe I'm gonna study at Caltech a little bit and then I'm gonna switch to computer science, uh, do some programming or find a high paying job, something like that. I took the lectures of Kip Thorne. Um, I liked uh, his uh, approach to physics. He um, used fundamental physics, applied it to really different um, subjects that are all related to gravitational waves. It was really this uh, Kip and, and other uh, people at Caltech, they really opened my eyes, you know, to the joy of doing uh, science. I think Kip told me, oh, you know, we have this LIGO device, it's going to be turned on in a few years and very, very likely we're going to see um, colliding black holes. And I was very excited. I thought, wow, it's really good to be part of a, a effort from early on, you know, and black holes are fascinating. I was working mainly with Kip and also a postdoc, uh, Alessandra Buonanno, and we were working on theory projects. Um, I was modeling waveforms uh, from colliding black holes using the so-called uh, post-Newtonian approximation. It was an analytic method for computing uh, waves emitted by these uh, sources. And I was also uh, doing calculations on how to apply quantum optics to the LIGO device, which are, you know, the configuration that is being used right now. We want to extract signatures of general relativity, which will tell us, you know, look, this is the effect uh, we're looking for. You know, I think we can compare this with the electromagnetic waves. Like, you know, at the beginning, people were fascinated by light, and they measure that light has uh, two polarizations, and uh, light are emitted by atoms, and here, we have a very good way of observing black holes. And then by observing these waves, measuring carefully these waves, we can identify signature by signature um, the predictions of relativity. We need to keep improving the sensitivity of our detectors. Quantum mechanics give you uncertainties, uh, which will then lead to the experiment having uh, noise. And these improving this quantum noise sometimes require applying uh, techniques from quantum optics. And these are, I think, um, one of my expertise. I would like to uh, apply these to the improvement of sensitivity. On the other hand, um, while we're at the cutting edge of uh, precision measurement uh, science, uh, this may allow us to really probe the fundamentals of quantum mechanics. 